Uh, we're not sure if we're going to go six miles, seven miles, ten miles, twelve miles. We're going miles. thirteen miles. Oh. We're going to half marathon a day. God damn it, barefoot sprinter. Yeah. You can't wear shoes like that. You're going to hurt yourself. Yeah, I can. See this? Oh, my God. Can, look at this. I How can are your feet so strong? Grab the ground. I can, I can basically, I can walk up this if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So it could be that his feet are stronger, or it could be that I'm maybe just smarter and trying to protect my feet, or maybe by protecting my feet, maybe my feet will be weaker. I don't know. We'll get more information as we go. <laughs> so a little tip I like is we're obviously I'm not even on the trail, but whenever you get like a safe backward stretch turn around and go backwards, it kind of changes up the cadence and gets you something to stretch out the you ankles. You get very stiff if you're walking straight the whole time. Yeah, because people just hunch over the whole time. Gets a little blood flow to the knees, to the quads. Makes a big difference. And you can fuck around with some of the other stuff too. But, you know, this is, uh, you're gonna spend 10, 20, 25,000 steps going one way. So when you can, just do this backwards. Takes the pressure off the knees. Can we lift stuff and throw it around? Body slam. Hey, look at this. What the hell happened to this thing? It's still kind of trying to stand. Somebody really jacked it up. Chopped it down, I guess. What kind of chainsaw you need to chop down a tree that's that, that fat like that? Must be some serious business. He's gonna stare at that map all day. <laughs> oh, great. I, think I have to be the one that's prepared here. I'm going off on my own. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? here I think yep onward westward I, I so this is what I think about a lot like Lewis and Clark those first guys that just walked oh, across the no, you know no, like no. crazy where are we going well if you don't know where you're going you can't get lost On one hand, I'm like, well, I don't, I'm sliding around, slipping around, but the other hand, I'm like, so is everyone else. And the only advantage I have is I can go into the snow a little bit. Yeah. Well, I can't, so the thing is, the beach dry out really quickly. So I did, uh, I did the mirror woods. Right. So we're about mile, mile and a half in. Unfortunately, there's a lot of snow on the ground, which is not fun because it's like ice-ish snow slushy. But so far, holding off the only uh, problems is you just get cold, cold and wet. But that's one of the things I think about, like you can move your toes and get some circulation to them. We got like three different levels of shoes here. Our cameraman, Ryan Soper, got those guys on. You're, you feel, you're feeling good. Those are comfortable. Yeah. Really good. And uh, I got these uh, kind of traditional, more hiking boot style. I just felt like for today, this wouldn't be the best time for me to like want to train my feet. So I'm just going a little bit more protection, especially because it's cold. And uh, these guys are savages and they're, they're training up their toes a little bit more. But yeah. so far, so good. A uh, little bit, a little bit shaky ground here with uh, the, the slipperiness of the snow. But we're getting through it. We're having fun. And these these are like a year and a half old, so they've they're well worn. But I will say Vibram does make waterproof hiking five finger shoes for everyone out there like why is that idiot wearing those shoes i don't know right but i'm gonna i'm gonna get a do uh, upgrade these and same with vivo vivo makes uh yeah. hiking yeah, yeah. shoes i just don't have a pair yet so i need to get on that that's what ryan's got so yep yep onward in the snow graham and i are huge promoters of getting outside and not only getting outside trying to get a lot of skin exposure whenever appropriate obviously if you're freezing there's only so much you can do but Take a moment to roll up your sleeves. Even if you're a little cold, get that sun exposure, get that vitamin D up. It's a great way to kind of wake your body up too. 
and I believe there's so much energy that comes from the sun. It's just really, really massively healthy for us. So give it a shot. It's something simple and easy you can do. Another 147 feet. We made it, look at this. Now we have a picnic, right? Yeah, great picnic. Oh. So, while we're here, great moment to remind you that- Don't kiss me. I'm not on camera, I'm too nervous. Huh. I'm not, I'm shy. It's about the journey, not the destination. Okay. Can, I, ma I made that quote, that was my quote. William Shakespeare. 1973. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> Carry a big stick. Uh huh. We're having a lot of fun. Yeah, this if is you great. can't find beauty in the trees and the conversation. We talk about a lot of weird stuff. Graham and I have been on probably 20 plus walks. Oh, yeah. Probably each walk, minimum of 30, 45 minutes or no, so. No, minimum of an hour. Jeez. All right, I didn't want to we give We started away. an hour and a half. I didn't, I, you know, didn't we spent like 30 hours together just talking. That's not even talking about the massages and the other weird stuff we do. My wife's going to leave me. I'll be here for you. I gotta get my way. I gotta work suck. my way to the bull somehow. <laughs> Hopefully, you can figure out how to run the slingshot for me. That seems pretty easy. If I look at what you do, oh. that's right. Beat, lift, sink, get back off, the seat. Oh, no there, huh? Right, there you go. Oh, you got the voice down. Ah, I didn't know you were working on that. Moral of the story: Don't go hiking snow. Need some of those uh, spikes. Are we lost? Like, uh, We're lost. May something like right? It's April ton 28th. April what? 28th. April 28th, and there's still tons of snow out here. What the hell's going on? Try to go up this path here. See what happens. Fuck man, this guy's way behind. Let's kick the rock. You're 29 or 49 to say? <laughs> yeah, hold up. 29 on Tuesday, so 28, damn it. You got, I mean, your legs, they look good. I don't, they're not very functional, I guess, in this moment. Some people got it, some people don't. What are you gonna do? I have a stick. I had to throw it at you. Yeah, it's fucking cold. Oh, my hands are cold. What the fuck? Mark, this sucks! Damn it! I'm not having any trouble, it's easy. This is wonderful, this is so good. What the fuck, Mark? I thought you said this is a goddamn hike! Fucking freezing. This is what I signed up for. Now that's snow. Come on, Grandpa. Use that stick. I'm going to. It's got prongs too. And where the fuck are we going? I thought you had a map. This way. Right here. You gotta dig those toes in. I can't feel them anymore. <laughs> If it is at all slanted on this, because this is all like ice, if it's at all slanted, I'm just. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold! I don't want to blame the shoes, but I will say these are older shoes, so the bottoms are a little slick. Graham, are you fucking coming? I mean, I called the helicopter. They should be here any minute. Not funny, Mark. This is really bad for your business, I think. No one's gonna want a program from a pussy like you. Fuck <laughs> <What> you! <laughs> Use your jujitsu. It'll work perfectly. I've only done two sessions. Julian hasn't cleared me for this one. Greatest thing ever to bring on a bring on a hike. Hard work, Chris. Use the code Mark Bell and you get some percentage off, I think. Delicious. That's my favorite you, one. Deep brisket. You at least brought me food, right? 
No, no. Um, all, I think all I have left. I only of have. Of course, like, you took the beef brisket. Look, I only have the best one. I only have a little bit, so. My hands are cold now too. You're not that big, so I don't think you need that much protein. Yeah, what does this mean? <laughs> does this mean we should go fuck ourselves? <laughs> the guy who did it died. I mean, is this even part of the anymore? I look soft. I let him take the big steps, and I go and pop a bear steps. That's my life. That's like, yeah. I'm gonna fall through. I'm gonna talk shit. I'm gonna like, fall through. Keep it on the body. Yeah, Ryan! Mark! Where are you? I didn't mean, I, I didn't mean, to, I'm sorry for what I said. Oh, there you are. What the fuck, man? Why'd you leave me? It was scary. There's bears out here. Look at this. Mark, wait up. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Not on the trail. Wait, which trail do we go? Mark, that's not a trail. We started here, and then we're on this thing, so we're probably. Huh? I don't know. We're somewhere between there and there, you know. Hmm. It looks like a little switchback. This is so much fun, Mark. I'm so glad you got me out here. This is great. I love hiking. <laughs> oh, look at the trees. I think we're lost. Mark, wait up. I didn't mean what I said about you. The penis is big. I'm sorry. Interesting part of the trip. Relax, relax. There you go. Ow. Ow, I hurt my hand. It's cold. Mark! I don't want to do it anymore. Is that a burr? It's a power bear. Power bear. I think I'll see if I can keep going this way. It's a power bottom too. Let's see what happens. This fucking sucks. Whose idea was this? It's fucking bullshit. I'm fucking cold. This is a bad decision. I'm a little worried because I think we're about. <laughs> A quarter mile away from the road, and I think if we get to the road, we can walk back. But it's gonna be fine, but it's gonna be challenging because, like, every time you go to take a step, you're just sliding all over the place. We need to go up and try to navigate this to get to the road, but we'll get it done. Hopefully, or else I think the I'm gonna, go, will be I'm gonna try to go this way. I just can't lose my toes. fortunate and grateful sorry about the wind I'm really fortunate and grateful that I've been able to take back my body and be able to do stuff like this there is no question I would not be able to do any of this at 330 pounds when I was powerlifting uh, I was meant for doing other stuff at the time and I'm very glad and fortunate that I seeked out knowledge from other people and got a lot of help and lost weight nowadays being about 230 a little bit more manageable uh, getting through these trails but it's still challenging and here goes our boy Graham I'll hand the camera back over to somebody who knows what to do with it another thing as you go through hikes, if you can break it up, so if you're going at your knees to bend all the way, get some blood flow, kind of squeeze it out. If you think about your knees and the joint like a sponge, you kind of want to, like if it has old water, you want to squish that out. So you can either do uh, squats or you can prop your foot up on something. Yeah, um, you're walking, you're just moving yeah. in limited range. Yeah, so you can prop your foot up on something and just let that knee drive forward. And you see how he's pushing his knee over. You just get that knee, and so you get that full bend in the knee, gets that blood flow kind of squeezing out. That with walking backwards, so if you just turn around and walk backwards at a safe stretch, those are two little things that break out the hikes that you're not as... Uh... And then the last one would just be a little hip hinge, because again, you're just mm -hmm. upright yeah. most of the time. You might lean forward a bit, but go ahead and do a couple hip hinges, 
get that lower back nice and loose. There you go, you got three things to do on your walk. Whew. All I gotta say is fuck Tahoe and fuck Graham. We got really lost there for a while. It got a little creepy, a little scary, but fuck it, man. We got through it. We, uh, it's good, good to test yourself that way. And there was some weird slippery snow and got into some weird precarious positions, but found my way out of it. I think it's because a lot of the training, I'm really thankful for being able to do some running more recently. And I'm grateful and thankful to our boy, Ben Patrick, the knees over toes stuff. I think it really helped a lot on this journey because today I was moving around and ducking and moving and um, even like doing little jumps and hops and stuff, things that I thought uh, I wasn't quite capable of, but apparently I'm capable of them. And I got through this crazy wacky trail that we probably shouldn't even entertain for today. <laughs> Welcome in to Smelly's Kitchen, everybody. We got some hot dogs, some Piedmontese, we got some ribeye, we got a bavette, we got another ribeye. I'm actually just gonna chop all these up together in a pan and season them. I'm gonna cook these separately and we're gonna have a smorgasbord of meat. It's gonna be amazing. Wow, Jay Cutler when he was winning his Olympia trophies. Day's winding down. Now it's pretty much just time to go to bed after that onslaught of food, but first, let me wash everything down with a keto brick. This sucker has a thousand calories in it and it's great for a sweet tooth. But we had an amazing day. It was unbelievable. I'm really glad that Ryan was able to be here. I'm glad we got the barefoot sprinter in the house. It's been a really awesome time having him here in the Sacramento area. We're in Tahoe right now, but having him in the Sacramento area uh, with us for several weeks now. And he's got an opportunity to collaborate with some really great people. And uh, he's also given us great information and helping us out in tremendous ways too. Hopefully you found the video to be fun and maybe life-threatening in some way because we thought we were gonna die there for a minute. <laughs> strength is never weakness, weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later.